Hi, Mike Overy for the BDC Experts. Welcome to BDC Tune Up Tuesdays. Subject matter today, status callbacks. Now this is one of the spin-offs for having a service BDC. Why? Because those status callbacks are so important. One of the most, one of the top complaints of a customer is not knowing what's happening on their vehicle. And a lot of times that's because service advisors are multitasking all day. They're taking calls, making calls, they're, they're speaking with customers. When you have a service BDC and you're redirecting a lot of that distraction, service advisors are gonna have the time now to manage your customers. And it gives them the ability to be able to make those status callbacks. Now, if you really wanna cut down the calls coming back in from customers, let me give you an example of this. Customer drops a vehicle off at 7.30 and has a diagnostic or has something that the, the, where we need a technician to have a look at the car. If we don't give them a time that we're gonna get back to them, that customer will phone you at nine o'clock, 9.30, 10 o'clock, 10.30. Why? Because they're very agitated, if you like, to find out how much money or what needs to be done on their vehicle. Our recommendation is to have a status callback appointment sheet which means that when the customer comes in and drops that vehicle off, we actually physically give them a time. Mr. Jones, we'll call you back around 11 when we'll have more information. What would be the best number to get you at? Now we actually show the customer, we actually write that down, your service advisors will write that down at to, as, at to what time they're actually physically gonna get back to Mr. Jones. What this will do is it will prevent the customer from phoning you from nine to 11. Now. We've seen dealers reduce their status callbacks, i.e. the customer phoning in, by up to 60% just by using this technique. The most important thing, if you're gonna have uh, status call appointments, is if you said 11 o'clock, you must call at 11 o'clock, irrespective of whether you have additional information on the vehicle. That's so, so, so important. But it allows you now to manage the customer once again, rather than the customer managing you. Service advisors now have the time as well. If it is a diagnostic and the, and the service advisor has to go back to the customer to ask for additional dollars or an, a certain amount, it gives the service advisor now time to be able to do that. We recommend on those calls, those diagnostic calls going back, we recommend anywhere to 30 minutes at a time. We're not looking for a two or three minute call. We want the service advisor to take more time to build value into, that, uh, into the work that needs to be done on the vehicle and explain to the customer why the investment that we're asking the customer to make is gonna be beneficial to them in the long term. This is so, so important if you really wanna reduce the, the, the just chaos that sometimes we have in our service drive. We've got to prevent those customers coming back. And the only reason you're getting those calls right now is the customer wants to know what's going on. And if we manage it, you'll see that change dramatically. The rest of those calls can be done by the BDC, would status call be something that I have the BDC doing? No, because that's regulated by your service drive. We are the BDC experts. We have the expertise. Stay tuned.